So we have one more thing oh. to do. Oh, it's a panda park! No way! Oh my goodness. First, let's take a tour of the zoo. Okay. Locate the giant panda habitat. Oh, well, she Obviously has it. the giant yeah. pandas are the main attraction for this oh, zoo. And look at him, luckily man. for us, oh. we have one which was born just a few days ago. Let's go and have a look at it. <gasps> Where? Go on. Where? Don't be shy. Where? Select the panda cub. Oh. <gasps> Doesn't it just warm the cockles of your heart? So I, cute. I think. I just got word from one of our keepers that a sable antelope was placed into a habitat without <gasps> going through quarantine first, uh -oh. and that they're displaying signs of disease. Mm -mm. We'll have to move them into quarantine to stop the infection from spreading to the other animals. To do that, go to the highlighted habitat, find the infected animal, and then select them to bring up their information panel. Good. Now click move and then transfer them into quarantine. I've highlighted the quarantine facility in the zoo for you. Oh, phew. That's a relief. Now that we've stopped the infection from spreading okay. any further, we need to build a vet surgery so the antelope can be treated and then return to his habitat. Okay. I've already highlighted where I'd like you to build it, so why okay. don't we head over there? Vet surgery. Wait, I don't want, I don't like how, um, I don't know, it's not, it needs to be, like, even. Why is it not even? Why does it have to be, like, off-centered? I don't like that it's off-centered. This is good enough. That's the job. Okay. Vet surgeries play a very important role in a zoo, as they're okay. the only places that vets can treat the animals. Once there's room for the antelope, the vet will pick them up from oh, quarantine and bring them to the surgery. Can I go in? Yes. <gasps> Diseases can spread through a habitat quite <gasps> easily, oh. especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly. Hmm. As it happens, I just got a report that one of our water treatment facilities has broken down and the water in the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitats has gotten dirty. I've highlighted the water treatment facility for you, so you should go and check it out. Okay. Click on the water treatment facility to bring up its information panel. Yes, I don't think you need a degree in mechanics to tell that this thing's thoroughly banjaxed. Please don't say a dad joke. Please don't say a dad joke. There, we had a horrible outbreak of viral gastroenteritis here at Goodwin House. Although, luckily, <laughs> that was just limited to me and my wife. A dad joke again! So let's have a look at something else in the meantime. Because okay. we've had some good news. Yeah. What's our good news? It turns out that we're allowed to adopt more <gasps> giant pandas. Pog. The authorities have given us three females to help with our breeding program. Even so, I'm sure you know how notoriously difficult it is to get pandas to breed. So we'll have to be patient. Our current giant panda habitat is full to the brim, but luckily we've already got another habitat mm. ready to go. But before we move our new pandas in, they'll need to go through quarantine. Of course, we can't do that until we've accepted them. So open up Animal Trading and go okay. into the Animal Reward section. Just click Transfer to Animal Storage next to each of the pandas, and then they'll be sent there. Move. Quarantine. While we wait for them to clear quarantine, you should set up their new habitat so okay. they feel at home in there. I'll also need you to bring over one of the male pandas from our other habitat, but because without him, we're not going to have much of a breeding program, are we? <laughs> so uh -huh. Go on, move him over and get everything set up for your pandas. Species. Giant panda. Let's do a large water bowl. What else do we need? Add feeding station, food enrichment, toy enrichment, increased terrain welfare to 90% and increased plants welfare to 90%. Okay. Okay, so we got that one. Let's do some toys. Wind chimes. We can put those here. 
block of ice. Okay. Now let's see what the student needs. Okay, needs more short grass and needs less long grass. Can do. like a little bit we still need to get rid of like the tall grass but I don't know where else oh it's on like the edges now I can see where they are I don't know why I couldn't before so the terrain's good we need plants though so, temperate biomes, that's what we need. Okay. Oh, we don't really like that. Maybe like that would look good? I feel like they would need like a whole lot of additions to the terrain, but I don't know how much is too much. Oh, so they don't like these. Hmm, that's okay. Good news. Our new female pandas oh. have been given a clean bill of health. Yay. You'd best move them into the new habitat so they can settle in. And I hope you've made their habitat as comfy as possible, because I animals so. will only breed if they're happy. Oh no, no pressure. No freaking pressure. Do I have to pick them up from quarantine? Or are they being moved here? Me? Oh yeah, no, I think I have to move them. Oh, move. Oh, bless. Okay. So let's start by creating a new work zone and then assigning a keeper to it so that they okay. know to look after the new pandas. <gasps> yes. To do that, go into the zoo section, then click on staff and then work zones. Oh, that definitely doesn't help. Staff, work now, zone. Now click on new work zone. Mm, to set zone. up your new work zone, I'll need you to select the highlighted habitat gate, staff room, and keeper hut. Oh, and don't forget to name it something useful. <laughs> Panda B2. Sure. Now let's hire a new keeper and assign them to our new work zone. Okay. We don't want them getting distracted by other goings on in the mm -hmm. zoo. Go on, hire one. Keeper. Then, click on your new keeper to bring up their information panel and go to their employment tab. Um, employment. At the bottom, you can assign them to your new work zone from the drop-down menu. Panda V2. Pog. Oh, is this work zone 10? There you go. Oops. <laughs> now your keeper will focus his attention on our new pandas. Oh, and just so you know, all types of staff can be assigned work zones. Just make sure that they have access to all the buildings that they need. And one last thing. You might find it faster to assign them from the work zones tab in the staff section of zoo management. That'll save you having to chase around selecting your staff one by one. Facilities, guest facilities, merchandise. These hats or just a momento. Which one was it? Oh, just a momento. You okay. can find out what species are already in your zoo by going into the zoo section and then into the animals area. Dang, that looks so cool. And if you're wondering how you're going to fit them all in, then mixed species habitats are a great way to save space and create interesting habitats. Hmm. Zoo, animals, what do we have? These we worked with before and they 
like being alone? Do you like having anyone live with you? That was Zoopedia. Dang, I guess a lot of them don't like having, don't like sharing habitats. Okay, warthogs. Common warthog will be enriched by sharing their habitat with these animals. Okay, how many more do we need? Have at least 18 species. 15. All right, we need three more. Oh, there's red pandas too. All right, well, where is a good spot that I can add? Probably around here. Okay, what are the walls that they've been putting around everything? They're using a lot of different things. All right, barriers. Let's do concrete. Can we curve it? And then we curve it this way. Now we got to figure out which ones to cohabit with some of these. Let's do um, warthogs and zebras. Yeah, let's do those. Does it need to be sand? They don't need grass, they need like... Beds and shelters. <laughs> They're so cute. Hmm. All right, I'm not sure what trees they would want. Let's try it. Let's try this. I don't know how well this is gonna work. But let's make like a natural. It's gonna be interesting. Hold on. I'm gonna move this. Like over. There. I think maybe this looks okay. We're gonna buy some zebras and then we're gonna buy some warthogs. Okay, I think I have to be, it has to be wildebeest. Because I can only do what they have in here. So there's warthogs. Okay, we could do wildebeest. Is this quarantine? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we have to quarantine them. Relocating to red panda. Oh no, cancel move. Gosh, looks so good compared to everything else. You can tell which one I made. <laughs> I'll make it look better, I promise. 
don't know how long it'll take for the quarantine stuff. Quarantine passed. All right, I need to move these two here. All right, Tyson's ready to move. Okay, so they're taking them here, and we're just basically going to be, like, adjusting this to however they want it. And we're running. Oh, wait. Did I get it, like, perfect? Oh, you like this that I made? Oh. Less sand, more soil. Got it. Maybe some heavy sand. Mm-hmm. You like that, huh? Mm-hmm. Fighting for alpha status. Oh, no. Do I have to sell them? Should I have only done, like, one male and one female? Because they're fighting. Or is that okay that they're fighting? I don't know if it's, like, a good or a bad thing. What about that? No, they don't like that. Sorry. <laughs> Unbox animal. This one's injured. Alright, what does this warthog want? I have to keep all of them happy. Enrichment. Needs more food enrichment. There you go. Oh, alright. They're taking him to the vet. Alright, what do you want? Well, you're fine, actually. Needs less sand. Doesn't want sand. Right, well, let's do more short grass. Maybe there's like sand over here that it doesn't want. Let's see. All right, we're good. Okay, I think they brought them back. Okay. Are you all good now? Overview looks good. Let's check out the warthog. I mean, you're running around. You look happy as heck. I can't click on you. It needs more short grass. We want more coverage. So we're going to remove that. We're going to add more short grass. Okay, they seem to like the palm trees. All right, well, you don't like those, but that doesn't matter because you're still fine. All right, we're good here, I think. Caretaker? Let's see. Employment. Let's see. Hold on. Let's look at our work zones. This needs to be a work zone. So work zone 11 is antelopes. So we need to find, wait, where is that caretaker? Is it this guy? Yeah. Corey Lester. Corey, you need to hang out with the antelopes. So you need to move. We need another caretaker. And you are also going to work with the antelopes. They need a staff building. I'm sure you know by now how to make your animals happy. Hmm. So you'd best get that sorted before the inspector gets you. Oh, jeez. Sorry, did I not okay. mention there was an inspector coming? No, you Dear. didn't, ma'am. No. All right, we are moving you here. Hmm. We also need more food now. Hmm. One alert. All right, we gotta help this warthog. Cleanliness. 
call keeper. I'm gonna help you, buddy. Oh man, I'm nervous. I don't understand, how do I get this habitat cleaned? Maybe I, maintenance. Oh no, animal is starving. I don't, oh God. I need to get you more food. I'm trying to get more. They're fighting again. You have another, uh, you have another freaking. No, no. God damn it. You're freaking injured and I bet you are too. I don't know how to help them. I also don't know how to like make him not starve. I need to hire more keepers. Um, I also need more vets. I think you can only have one male. Okay, so what do I do with the other one? Do I send animal to storage and trade center? Yeah, I think we're gonna, how do I sell him? It doesn't let me sell. Also, I don't know how to get this habitat cleaner. Oh, delivery scheduled? What did I deliver? Huh? <gasps> the warthog died! I don't understand because I was trying to like specifically these past like this past 10 minutes I've tried to help this warthog but like none of the staff will go help him I don't understand and like the cleanliness what am I supposed to do for cleanliness I even sent look I've called this person to come fill up the food for so long no R.I.P. I'm so sorry. What do I do for cleanliness? Okay, well, this one... I need to send animal to trade center. And then quick trade and firm. Maybe I need to, like, specifically have some workers be, like, here. Like, taking care of this. No work zone. Go to the antelopes. Anyone who doesn't have a work zone, I am sending you here. See? I don't understand! Did you see that? He just comes in and then leaves. Like, I called you. You're, what do you... Also, what is that form? Like, I call keepers in to get them food but then they don't come in and fill up the food so my animals are dying it's a bug i saw it happen with someone else today too i don't understand last meal quality well i can select the habitat but i can't i can't upgrade the food quality that makes sense though that they come to check the food see if it's empty and then have to go prepare the food I guess it's just like, I've, I had the warthog die. Should I do multiple food troughs? What? <gasps> no! No, he's inspecting this really bad. No, he's inspecting the bad one. No. That's the only one that I really have one for. Frick. Well, at least, at least the animals are happy. Look at all of that. Look at their welfare. Oh, maybe not the flamingos. Let's go to the flamingos. What up? What up with it? Coverage? Oh, there's too much coverage. Does that help? All right, well, what else do we have to do? Oh, I guess I... 
I need a new warthog. I guess all that we have left to- oh. Well, technically, I mean, it's great. All of them are like 99 to 100%. 96. Maybe we need more mechanics. He's almost done. Okay, they're taking him in there. They have to check him before I can put him in there. Alright, you're taking him back. Can I take him now? Quarantine passed. Oh, it's, is it snowing? Okay, well, how's our warthog doing? Is he here? Oh, she. Sorry. Oh, it has too much snow. They're not happy because of the snow. What do I do? I was literally about to... Oh, what am I supposed to do if it's snowing? I was literally at 89%. I was at 89%. For this, which is supposed to be overall welfare, it needs to get to 90%. I was at 89. Yeah, I can add heaters. 86. We're getting there. Slowly. Inspector, arriving at the zoo. Receive a zoo inspection report with an overall star rating of 2.5. Seems like we're done. Leaving zoo. Mm-hmm. Get out of oh, here. Goodness. You know, I really can't believe just how much you've come on during our time mm -hmm. together. <laughs> it Thank goes to you, show Nancy. Bernie's got a keen eye for talent. Oh, mm -hmm. and speaking of Bernie, he's not finished with you yet. He's got a new job for you in Canada. Canada? I get the feeling that you'd best pack a warm coat. Oh, listen. It's been wonderful getting to know you, and I'm sure we'll meet again. But in the meantime, good luck. I want Nancy to stay with me forever. Okay, well, that's the third training session done. Pog. And it's been six hours. We spent about two hours on each training session learning um, what to do. All of that good stuff, all of that great stuff, we got through all of that. It's pretty awesome.